$5.9 billion. That's how much money consumers are expected to spend on Valentine's Day this year. Action News Jack's Princess Johnny Steverson went to a local flower shop and learned the cost of roses are higher this Valentine's Day than in the past. Roses, that's a traditional Valentine's gift to give someone you love. But a local florist here in Jacksonville tells me that these beauties right here, a dozen red roses, are now going to cost you an extra $25 at her shop because of that inflation. Demand, production, wages, and transportation across other countries, they are all reasons why a dozen red roses now cost more money. For Valentine's, it's $94.99. But without inflation, they'd cost $69.99, says Shelly Hagen. She's a florist and the owner of Jacksonville Flower Market's retail business and Flowers of Jacksonville Delivery Services. She says the surcharges for producing red roses is up nationwide. The trucking charges go up, the flower charges go up, so everything's kind of escalated, and so it's, it's high demand. This will be our first year anniversary, um, but we've been together for the last five years. Brandon Ezel is looking for a dozen assorted roses to give his wife on Valentine's Day. I think for our first year, I'll probably put like a singular white rose in a bouquet. Our first year being married, a uh, year of purity. This chart from the National Retail Federation shows in 2022, consumers spent $23.9 billion on Valentine's Day. This year, they'll spend $25.9 billion. That's over $190 bucks per person on candy, cards, stuffed animals, and flowers. Today, we're around 500 deliveries, and tomorrow, we're going to be close to 1,000. According to the National Retail Federation, 2023 is one of the highest spending years on record for Valentine's Day. For local coverage you can count on, on the South Side, I'm Princess Jeanne Steverson, 